if I want him to second bite. I mean, I didn't take one. <laughs> Everything just looks soggy and not okay. <laughs> Told the head chef and the owner of the spot. Hey, well, these two cats came through <laughs> judging tacos all day. Welcome to Denzel's World. We're going to do something a little different. I'm joined with my friend Lou. Luis. We're going to review the best and worst Mexican restaurants in Brisbane. Why Mexican? Well, because Lou just so happens to have his own taco business. Yep. Mad City Tacos? Anyone who wants to follow us? Yes. Unashamable plug. In reality, he is a taco connoisseur. No question. 100%. Alright, I want to read some reviews. Disappointed. Decided to try this place for a change and ordered the butter chicken. This is not a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> It's a Mexican and Indian restaurant. Mexican, disgusting. Butter chicken, not too bad. <laughs> Waited three quarters of an hour for my order and said to the girl, I hope it is worth the wait. Well, no, it definitely was not worth <laughs> the wait, nor the money. I had to wait to do this review because the Mexican in big capital letters <laughs> that I had with my meal was so diabolically bad. I needed a day to calm down. Uh, my family and I ducked into this place on the way home the other evening. We ordered... The ribs? There's ribs as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard to say, uh, it's hard to find good takeaway, a takeaway rib place. So I went to a Mexican Indian place. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact now that we went to an Indian Mexican place and the guy that walked out was definitely Asian? Not Indian. Not Indian Asian. <laughs> this I approve of. Yeah? I, some sort of care. Yeah, that's cool. Each taco individually packed. Oh wow, that's really... It's really full. That that goes against your first rule. Hard shell tacos are one of the things where it's like, you're always going to fill them up because it's already folded. The issue with this hard shell taco is it's not hard. If we can see this here, that is soft already. <laughs> half the taco was crunchy. <laughs> and half was soggy. <laughs> the meat's definitely been like slow cooked and then frozen for the last seven weeks. Black beans are there because I think it's Mexican. Ooh. The guac <laughs> is nasty. Last bite. No. <laughs> Yours actually does look a little bit crispier than mine now that I say that. That's very right. brown though. It's quite, yeah, that's very brown. I don't know if I want to even touch that. This is my vomit bag. No, this is you. You're, you're, like, you're like not leaning over the paper. You're uh, like <laughs> leaning further into the car. And I'm just worried about... The car's clean, you know? That does not taste like chicken. <laughs> that tastes like tuna. This is their original, which I read, thought we shouldn't get. And then went against everything I believe in and got it anyway. Because this has got ranch on the bottom. Earlier today, Lou treated me by cooking his own versions of tacos. What's the trick or the secret to the perfect taco? As long as there is salsa on it, as far as I'm concerned, you're good as gold. The biggest issue is like, what do you put on a taco? Anything you want. But if you're coming over for dinner, anything I tell you to. <laughs> anything I put in front of you. That there? I don't want that much lettuce on the bottom of my... In the, look, that was going to be my first bite. Just a chunk of rabbit food. Also, the tortilla is too big. The tortillas we had earlier, the four inch ones, I think they're much better. Pet peeve of mine at any Mexican restaurant you go to, that's like either being put in the microwave, don't let these little brown dots fool you, that's just on the tacos when you get them out of the packet. Feels like it's just steamed in this alfoil and it tastes like dough. The beef does look better than the chicken. All right, beef better than the chicken. There's actually a little bit of flavor. It's not good, but it's not as bad as the chicken. The ranch, nasty. The beef actually saves this taco. The meat's a bit tough. It tastes like a wrap that your mum would make for lunch at school. The lesson should be learnt from this establishment here. If you don't know how to do one thing well, don't try and do two things. <laughs> do one thing well, and that's a good business tip. <laughs> <laughs> The number one reviewed is Pepe's Mexican. TripAdvisor um, reviewers are rough because it's number one Mexican. It's only got four stars. So out of 292 reviews, nine terrible ones. 145 excellent reviews. I love Pepe's Mexican. They would have to be one of the best Mexican restaurants in all of Brisbane city. The portions are generous. So this is too full. Too full? The bottom's a bit soggy. It looks a bit more appetizing though. It does, uh, <laughs> compared to the art last place, 100%. Pretty fresh, everything, everything's fine. It needs salsa, it needs hot sauce. That's probably, <laughs> that's probably, the, that's probably all I want to say about it. 
It tastes more like chicken. <laughs> I would definitely have a second bite of that. Yeah, it's very full. -y. It's very full, too full. But I guess if you're going to pay seventeen dollars for two tacos, then you'd be you would be leaving full. This is Denzel's fifteenth taco of the day, by the way. Do a cap here. It's not tough, the meat is good. Both of you and I agree, our only critique would be it's got too much in the taco for it to stay together. But it at least is much better than the last place. They're doing one thing well, <laughs> and that's the important thing. They've found their niche. The taco falling apart, it's not good. It's, it's exactly what I expect from what the menu says and from the place we're in. I think I've overstacked mine. Is that, is that the best way to enjoy a taco? No, that's not. <laughs> but it is a common mistake because I've just done the same. The perfect taco is good ingredients, salsa, a good piece of meat or a good vegetable yeah. that's cooked well. Less is more. For instance, we've got seven, eight different things in front of us. There's no need to be like, oh, I want every single thing on this little four inch taco. Mm. It's never gonna happen. Mix it up each taco. Yeah, just, just have some It's small enough to not have to do everything at once, but yeah. do a little bit here, a little bit the next one. As long as you put salsa on there, the biggest challenge of the taco is everyone does want what they want. Everyone wants what they know. Even if it is the Western world white taco of your taco mix and your ground beef and pre-packaged salsa from the same company you brought your taco mix from and some grated cheese. It doesn't taste bad. At no point does it taste bad. It just can taste better. As far as TripAdvisor's reviews, I'm not going to say it's the best taco in Britain. Oh. But it has definitely uh, beaten my expectations. This thing is huge, by the way. Food is good. The flour tortilla definitely holds everything better. It's not toasted the way that I want it, though. It's still like in the front of the microwave. But the fish doesn't taste too fishy. It tastes actually pretty fresh. The pasta is really nice. It cuts through. And the acid from the lemon's nice. But the um, the sauce or the mayo is not what I want from a taco. I want like a salsa and a hot sauce. Just eat it, mate. That's it's the best part out of the three. The most. <laughs> well, food stuck in my teeth. You said there's another one to go check out? I think there's a few spots that potentially can give you that taco we're looking for. With the charcoal beef. Oh, thank you. Not a word at all. Get into that while it's still hot, please. My time to have a bite. Best food in the world because bite for bite, pound for pound, like you get you get everything in every bite. It only takes eating tacos to know the tacos. Are Great to eat. Like, put the camera down and eat yours, hurry up. Really? Okay. That's good beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this bro. should be number one. That is the best taco we've had all day. Yeah. No question. Oh, that, look at that. No, nah, this one I apologize. I got halfway here and the dollar fell to the side. I was like, God damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, all the time, my man came with the photo and the camera and all. But, thoughts, sir. So. Oh, that. great. We'll talk afterwards. No, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> that roasted pepper is just as tender and just as nice as that beef. Um, I'm going to stop talking so Denzel can eat his food. This is so good. It's so simple and that's what's good about it. It's not overdone. What a way to end the day. But Dude. finishing it with the best tacos. For a cheaper price, we just had like one of the best tacos that people that I know would ever have. This is good tacos. I'm trying to like get everything so I can give it a proper. You're actually being very thorough with this review. Well, it's because I don't plan on eating the rest of the taco. I think usually, anytime I've done a food review, I've just eaten something. I'm like, oh, that's oh, good. Oh, that's good. And it then is. cut to the next shot. This is phenomenal. Do you ever sit down somewhere and go, oh, sweet, I'm gonna, work. I want to work here. <laughs> These are the best ones we've had today. Buffer. Yeah. Buffer. Happy days. Thank you, boys. Am I clearing too early? We got no, like no, 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 no. We're, no. we're, we're no, finished for the day. Like that's, that's 32 between us. God. I reckon you guys are the best Mexican restaurant in Brisbane. Thanks, brother. Sincerely. Yeah. Thank you.